Hello friends, welcome to all in my YouTube channel all about civil engineering by Praveen Mane. Today I am going to explain about the some important things which are required for civil engineers to know uh, when they are working on site or working uh, in uh, as a working as a uh, civil engineer, site engineer or project engineer or execution if they are working on at site as a executive engineer executing engineer then uh, some of the important things they require based on the some material properties their values the things which are used related with the concrete cement and concrete so that i am explaining in this video specifically now first we'll see important properties of material and its values so first is the bulk density what is mean by bulk density bulk density is nothing but is the ratio of mass of material divided by volume of that material and its unit is kg per meter cube so you can convert it in kilonewton per meter cube or anything but here values whatever i have given they are in kg per meter cube so as far as brick is concerned its bulk density should be uh, 1600 to 1800 kg per meter cube granite 2500 to 2700 kg per meter cube sand 1450 to 1650 kg per meter cube pine wood 500 to 600 kg per meter cube as far as steel is concerned as you know density bulk density is 7850 kg per meter cube now density index density index is nothing but it is the bulk density it is the ratio of bulk density divided by density of that material so it is always less than one now third specific weight specific weight of any material is the ratio of weight of that material divided by volume of that material so here i have given the uh, specific weight of different material uh, in unit kilonewton per meter cube so brick masonry 18.80 85 to 22 plain concrete 22 to 23.5 kilonewton per meter cube reinforced concrete 22.75 to 26.50 kilonewton per meter cube stone masonry 21 to 27 timber 6 to 10 kilonewton per meter cube cement mortar 22.4 lime mortar 15.7 to 18.50 steel 78.5 Floor finishes 0.6 to 1.2, roof finishes 0.2 to 1.2, steel work for roofing 0.16 to 0.23 kilonewton per meter cube, cement plaster 10 mm thick 0.2, uh, concrete tile flooring 25 mm thick uh, 0.5, terrazzo 10 mm thick flooring 0.2 kilonewton per meter cube, brick wall 100 mm thick, its uh, specific weight is 1.91 unit per uh, k k kilonewton per meter cube now specific gravity specific gravity is nothing but uh, weight of solid divided by weight of water or mass of solid divided by mass of water at 4 degree centigrade now high hygroscopicity it is the property of material to absorb water from air that is called as the hygroscopicity hygroscopicity is the property of material to absorb water from the air now strength Strength it is nothing but it is the ability of material to resist the resist the failure or it resists the load under the action of stresses caused by loads the most common being compression, tension, bending and impact. So strength what is meant by strength? Strength is nothing but it is the ability to resist failure to resist the stresses different stresses induced due to application of load. Now seven hardness what is meant by hardness? How how hard material is hardness hardness is ability of material to resist penetration by harder body more scale is used to find the hardness of material so hardness of material is nothing but it is the ability of material to resist the penetration to resist the penetration insertion of anything it gives resistance to the penetration into it any harder body so more sir more scale so first talc mineral easily scratched with the thumbnail its hardness is one gypsum scratched by thumbnail hardness is two calcite not scratched by thumb nail but easily cut by knife three fluorite can be cut by knife with greater difficulty than calcite four apatite five orthoclase it is six cords cords mineral not scratched by steel it is scratched by glass only its hardness is seven topaz 
its hardness is 8 sapphire 9 and diamond its hardness is 10 so very hardened material is diamond and very softened material is talc talc is the mineral it is the uh, powder what you are using uh, for your face for beautifying your face this is the talc mineral so its hardness is only one so that's why this is used there uh, elasticity elasticity is the ability to restore its initial form and dimension after the load is removed if load is applied uh, see rubber example rubber if we apply rubber uh, load on rubber on both side if we ten tensile load applied to the rubber so after removing removal of load it will regain its position this is the elasticity or elastic material plasticity it is the ability of material to change its shape under load without cracking and to retain this shape after the load is removed so plasticity some of the example of plastic material are steel copper hot bitumen so malleability what is the malleability malleability is the physical property of metal that defines the ability to be hammered pressed or rolled into thin sheets without breaking or tearing it is a property of metal to deform under compression so gold silver iron aluminium copper and tin it is wire form whenever we apply load the material gets form of wire without uh, cracking or breaking then ductility ductility is the ability to deform under tension ductile material undergo plastic deformation before fracture so means it will ductile material will not regain its shape back when it is load is removed so it is platinum aluminium copper steel polyethylene nylon now 12 material that fracture without any plastic deformation are called a brittle material the material that fracture without any plastic deformation are called a brittle material that is the example includes glass and most of the ceramic material the durability it is the ability to resist the combined effect of atmospheric and other factors so durable heat conductivity ability to of material to conduct heat thermal conductivity property of material to absorb heat described by its specific heat thermal conductivity and heat conductivity different now various terms used in leveling so in surveying leveling you need these terms so as far as site engineer concerned this knowledge is important whatever i am telling from slide one number one to uh, up to the last line end slide so level surface it is a surface parallel to the mean spiral surface of earth every point on the surface is equidistant from the center of earth it is normal to the plumbing at all points level line it is line lying in the level surface horizontal surface a surface tangential to the level surface is called as the horizontal surface horizontal line any line lying in the horizontal surface at any point is called the horizontal line it is tangential to the level line vertical surface surface normal to the level surface at any point is called a vertical surface vertical line the any line in the vertical surface is called a vertical line it is normal to the level line now that term it is the imaginary level surface or line from which vertical distance of the point above or below this line are measured in india that term surface is taken as msl at mumbai and it is treated at zero reduced level at of any point is the height of that point above or below any datum then line of collimation it is imaginary straight line joining intersection of the cross hairs at diaphragm to the optical center of the object glass and its continuation it is also called a line of sight back sight it is the star reading taken on the point uh, whose rl is known to us which we can call it as the benchmark point then foresight reading it is the star reading taken on point whose rl is to be determined it is the last reading foresight is the last reading and intermediate side readings all the readings other than backside and foresight are called as the intermediate side reading height of instrument this is the method of calculating rl so it is the rl of line of collimation when instrument is correctly leveled it is always with reference to the datum line the height of instrument so same station it is the point when st where stop is held and the reading are taken during the process of leveling change point it is an intermediate point where backside and uh, foresight readings are taken both the readings are taken 
on same point that is called as change point back side as well as four side reading then benchmark it is the fixed reference point of known elevation so there are different types of benchmark gts great trigonometrical survey benchmark they are permanently marked arbitrary benchmark temporary benchmark parallax parallax is the error error in the surveying it is the relative motion of the image with respect to the crosshair when image found by the object glass does not fall in the plane of the diaphragm there is a set to be a parallax it is due to faulty focusing of the object glass so it is the error during the now most important workability values for different placing condition of concrete whenever we uh, uh, want to place a concrete uh, for different uh, structures so there we need workability of concrete we first determine workability of concrete and as per is code also is 456 it also mentioned uh, different conditions of workability for uh, placing conditions of based on the placing conditions of concrete there are different workability values first degree of workability is extremely low its consistency is moisture, moisture earth its slump is zero compacting factor is 0.65 to 0.7 vb degree less than 20 second used for precast paving slab then degree of workability very low first extremely low then very low its its consistency is very dry concrete slump is 0 to 25 compacting factor 0.7 to 0.8 vb degree 12 to 20 second used for blinding concrete shallow section then third is the degree of workability is low first we have seen extreme low very low and low its consistency is dry concrete slump is 25 to 50 compacting factor 0.8 to 0.85 vb degree 6 to 12 second it is used for mass concreting lightly reinforced concreting sections in slab beam walls column floor hand placed pavement canal lining strip footing then degree of workability medium its consistency is plastic concrete slump is 50 to 100 mm compacting factor 0.85 to 0.95 then vb degree is 3 to 6 second used for heavy reinforced section in slab beam wall column slip form work pumped concrete and slab then degree of workability is high so its consistency is again plastic slump is 100 to 175 compacting factor 0.95 to 1 vb degree 0 to 3 second used for trench fill and in situ piling then degree of workability is very high very high so its slump is greater than 175 mm used for trimmy concrete as trimmy concrete means concrete used under water concreting under water is the trimmy concrete then uh, here are the figures shown here so these are the types of slumps whenever we measure the slump there are types of slump so first one is the collapse second figure is shows the shear slump and third one is the true slump now thank you for uh, watching the video if you like it please do share it and subscribe the channel for more such fruitful videos thank you